Hi friends. So imagine this, it's five days ago. I'm sitting in a room full of tables and high backed business chairs. There's a few other people in the room with me. There's a whiteboard to my left with a pull down presentation screen. There's two TVs at the front of the room. There's an instructor behind us, an instructor in front of us. Where am I? No, I did not go back to school. That is not on my list of things to do in the near future. But I guess it was of sorts. I was learning over the weekend. I was at the Dale Carnegie three day immersion course. Uh, so essentially it's a course packed into three days, 8.30 to 5.30, just learning about communication skills, interpersonal skills, persuasion, having difficult conversations, business skills, all of that wrapped up into one little weekend. So it was a great program put on by the Dale Carnegie Institute, uh, made possible by Athletes Can, their partnership with them, funded by Sport Canada, and hosted by the Canadian Olympic Committee there in Montreal, which is where I took the course. For those of you who don't know who Dale Carnegie is, he came to fame around the 1930s and he was known for giving courses on public speaking, uh, improving your communication, uh, marketing sales pitches, interpersonal communication and all of that. And at that time it was a bit revolutionary because there, there weren't a bunch of books that were talking about success. or detailing the experiences of successful people and that's what he wanted to do. So he made a book, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People is probably his most popular book and I'm sure you've seen it on a, a bookshelf somewhere. Um, so that's what he's most famous for. But the Dale Carnegie, Carnegie Institution has continued over all these years and to this day gives courses, usually they're over an eight week um, time period, but I did it in three days and just continuing with his legacy, giving those classes about public speaking, communication, and all that jazz. I had a great time learning with people who are much better speakers than me, much more accomplished and intelligent than me, but that is what I like. I like to be around people like that who motivate me to get to the next level. Some exercises that I particularly enjoyed is some of the off-the-cuff stuff where we were given a topic, we had to relate immediately to it from our personal um, circumstance and then give our opinion, our evidence for that opinion, and then continue on that way and wrap it up in a summary, quick action benefit at the end. Um, uh, we outlined many different ways of where we could become clearer and more concise in our communication and that's what I've been searching for. I think most of us are searching for ways to be better understood by people. And they focused a lot actually on the other person in the communication. They talked about showing genuine interest for the people that you're talking to, considering things from their point of view, putting yourself in their shoes, all those specific pieces of advice that probably our parents told us that are just basic human virtues, but they actually are really valuable in the way that we communicate with others. Because if we're constantly talking at people, we're not going to be <laughs> receiving what they're saying and not responding in the way that will add value to the entire conversation. So that was another technique or thought that I definitely want to implement into my daily life on a more consistent basis, especially asking questions more like what, how, why. These are open-ended, powerful questions because it requires your responder to actually respond instead of just stopping at a yes or no answer. That makes the communication a lot more engaging and two-way, especially if you're talking to someone who is quieter than you or is maybe a little shy. So that was a, an extremely valuable tip that I picked up while I was at this Dale Carnegie Immersion course for this three-day course. So, but now I know that not everybody has the chance to go and take a three-day intensive course or even the eight-week version that is also available, available for this. 
but there are many different ways. There's like books, like Dale Carnegie wrote his own book. This is the how to uh, win friends and influence people. Uh, a contemporary of his was Napoleon Hill, who wrote around the same time. He wrote um, Think and Grow Rich. There's plenty of people. Stephen Covey comes to mind. Tim Ferriss comes to mind. All those giants who have written and consolidated years of wisdom and interviewed people who are at the top of their field and the top of their experience taking those successful traits and putting them into books or podcasts which are very popular right now. I love a good podcast. I listen to School of Greatness, uh, Impact Theory amongst others. So great ways to implement those practices if you don't have access to a course. So you can practice those on your own and benefit from years of experience of other people instead of you having to go through that whole process yourself. So in summary, it was a great weekend. I really enjoyed it. Thanks to Athlete Can, Sport Canada, the Canadian Olympic Committee, and the Dale Carnegie Institute as well. It was a great weekend with great friends and lessons for a lifetime. So think about what relates most to you. Books, podcasts, three-day course. Think about it, find what works to you, and continue cultivating your best you.